it goes. Here we go. What do we got? Damn, it looks empty. What the hell? Oh, snap. <laughs> what the hell is going on? What is good, everybody? Happy Saturday morning to you out there, man. Today, we're going on a WWE action figure toy hunt. Now, I don't typically, I say this a lot, I don't like to typically toy hunt on Saturday mornings, and I think we did this last week too, man. It's like we're just running it back, I guess, but I don't like to typically hunt on Saturday mornings. First of all, there's a WWE pay-per-view, I think, taking place in like 20 minutes or 30 minutes or something like that, and also, I just don't like to hunt on Saturday mornings because, again, people get their shish done on Saturdays, man. People that don't have time to go grocery shopping during the week, they're going on Saturday. They're going to go on Saturday. They're going to go on Sunday. They're going to clog up the aisles. It's going to be more difficult to get clips, or I am just should be you know, just straightforward enough to just film with people in the aisle, but I can never do it. I'm never good at that. I don't know. I Whatever. If I'm at WrestleMania, like filming the Superstore and stuff, I can knock that out, man. But when it comes to actual toy hunting and just filming on the aisle, I don't know. I just, I can't do it. I, <laughs> I can't do it. Nonetheless, we are on the hunt for the Monday Night Wars Ultimate Editions and Elites, and I don't think I'm going to go to Target, but I'm also looking for the Legends figures, man, the new Legends series, so we'll see what comes of that, I guess, but hopefully it's all worth it, but we will know when we find out. That made no sense. I'll see you in the car. Damn, I hate toy hunting on a Saturday, man. What are you doing? Don't toy hunt on Saturdays, man. I'm telling you, this is what you got to deal with. Look at all these cars out here, man. Anyway, first location's Walmart. Why is that car coming down the damn... What, what are we doing? Anyway, we're in here now. Let's go in here and see if we can find some shit. All right, guys. Here we go. What do we got? Damn, it looks empty. What the hell? Oh, snap. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Hell yeah, man. We found the Monday Night Wars Ultimate Edition Bret Hart, and it looks like they have Roddy Piper, man. So we found both. First time seeing these in person, we do have a Roddy and we have a Brett. I'm going to make sure I get all the damn accessories, man. If you guys remember what happened last time with the Maya Via 3 pack, they also restocked this. So there's three of the Maya Via Legacy pack. But last time we grabbed this, you guys know that I picked up one without the robe. I honestly should just buy another one, but the section is completely cleared out, man. They have cleaned up a bunch of this. If you guys remember, this is that same Walmart we always come to. And it's usually pretty damn packed. It looks like they have either put stuff on clearance there's all those eddie kingston's there's quite a few but there's not as many like you remember all this was filled up it was ugly and destroyed it looks like they finally have reset the aisle and they finally cleaned it up we have one top picks sheamus we have roddy piper we have some basics if you remember there's like 700 of these where the hell are they now i don't know what's going on here we have eddie kingston up there with austin we do have some eddie kingston's over here with thunder rosa but for the most part, man, they've cleaned up the aisle. Hell yeah, yeah, this is some good improvement. But this is the last time they'll clean it for at least another year or so. So we just got to take this W. But hell yeah, we found Bret Hart. I'm going to get a Bret Hart, and we're going to get a Roddy Piper. I've been waiting on this for a long time. Let me check both head sculpts, make sure we get one with good paint apps. I'm going to have to look off camera probably to make sure that I get it right. But we do have reality check. Beautiful looking Roddy Piper. And we have Bret Hart, man. So... We're going to have to look around a little bit. I may go to the clearance aisle to see if they have some. Like, you know, they put something over there in the clearance section. But definitely going to be grabbing these. And then, oh my God, in heaven, we have a look at the Knuckle Crunchers. There's Seth Rollins. I think he's the only one that I was missing. So, or I haven't bought any of them. But I, I'm saying I keep finding the rest. So, I'm going to, I think I'm going to grab the full wave here today. So, look right here. They have The Rock. They have Roman. And they have John Cena. So, they have the full wave. So, that does mean that the full weight is here so i'm gonna buy all of them i guess and uh i may review the whole the whole series they look pretty cool so we'll, we'll check those out i'm gonna buy the full set they're right here in my face might as well buy them and it's the wave with cody and logan yes it is it looks like people have already hit or maybe they only put this out on the shelves i'm not sure but this just looks so much more aesthetically pleasing even if it looks like they don't have much they clearly had more than they've had in a minute, right? So they had like all those Brock Lesnar's, all those basic. I mean, go back on the channel, man. Go look at the toy hunts. They had so much shish piled up and now it looks like they have more quality. So we're gonna be taking this and this and that's a W and somebody left their blue Gatorade. No, decisions were made, man. Either the figures or blue Gatorade. Blue Gatorades, you know, it's, it's temporary, man. Figures are forever. We're gonna grab Roddy Piper. We're gonna grab Bret Hart. And I'm gonna go check the clearance section just to make sure. But I think today was hell, just hell yeah. I've been looking for these forever. Finally found them. I'm going to only grab one for now. And then we can pick up men on card later on, I guess. But that's a successful last day right there, man. All right, man. Well, clearance is effing empty. I don't know I don't know where the hell they put those figures. They sure as hell didn't sell. So I don't I don't know what they did with them, man. But I don't like to film while driving, but I had to document this great success. 
Great success. Good shits right here. We're going to hit up another Walmart and we'll find out if we can continue this success on the Saturday God Awful time to toy hunt, by the way. Never do it. I will always stress this. But let's continue on the hunt. Store number two. Can we match the same success, Brad? We'll have to find out. It's a beautiful day, but don't toy hunt on Saturdays. All right, man. So at this Walmart, it looks like they're in the middle of the reset. Look at this. They got stuff all in the aisles. These aisles are kind of cleared out. But if you come down here, it doesn't look like there's anything new from, you know, from distance here. What in the blue hell is that right there? Supreme Series 3 Pinta. And there's literally six of them. That's insane. How random. How random is that? Pinta Supreme. Just, just here. Just six of them. So random. Random figure of the day is Supreme Pinta. Besides that, it's the same damn Ultimate Edition Alexa Blisses. There's only three of them, though, so it does look like some moved or some may be put on clearance or something. I'm not sure. Walmart's always random, but we have Scott Steiner, EO Sky. We have Becky, Shayna, Bianca, Bianca, Shayna. Got a few Nylas over here. We got, okay, so we got Superstars Chase Hogan right there. Oh, damn, we got two Chases. We got Roddy Piper and another Hogan over here. So we got some random stuff going on. All right, so I'm walking around to the other side. We're going to see if there's anything else. I've been looking around, man, because with the reset, things get put out of place. Yeah, you know, like, look over here, man. They have, like, random figures just kind of strode out everywhere. Got some car stuff. Yeah, so the, the aisles are kind of, like, ramshacked right now because they're moving everything. So they got to find other places to put stuff while they fix the aisles, I guess. But everything is kind of out of sorts here. But I don't see anything else that we're looking for right now. But we're going to stay on the hunt keep looking around. See if we can find something else, man. You know, you never know what's hiding under something. You got to check behind things, figures laying around. But I feel like today was a random hunt, man. Very random. But it doesn't look like they've done the reset for WWE yet, man. So I guess this is it. I, I feel like, again, it's all random. We have some random stuff. Like this right here is ridiculous. Completely crazy. Six of them just chilling. I wonder how long they'll last. Alrighty, boys, we're back home after the hunt, and here we go, man. I mean, for the most part, we pretty much grabbed what you've already seen here. We did grab the Ultimate Edition Brett the Hitman Heart. Been on the look for this for a while. Finally found them. Now the only thing that we're missing is any new elites. So Monday Night War Series 2 elites, and, you know, obviously Eddie Guerrero and Mankind haven't hit yet, things like this. But we do have the Brett Hart, man. Going to definitely be reviewing this on the channel. Don't know how I feel about the head sculpts. I don't think they're very good, but I guess the review will kind of sort that out. But... Let's get the uh, let's get the other one out here. And really, the one I was most looking forward to is going to be the Roddy Piper, man. I was, get the hell off. I was looking more to the Roddy Piper than I was the Bret Hart. So getting his, I'm going to call this the Toy Biz Roddy Piper Ultimate Edition. Very excited to add this to the collection. I think the only ultimate that I'm lacking right now is the Eric Bischoff Monday Night Wars ring version of the WCW ring version of Eric Bischoff Ultimate Edition. Haven't tracked that down, haven't ordered that one at all. So I definitely need to get my hands on that one. But we do have Roddy Piper and Bret Hart. Finally found these guys, man. I mean, there was no other Monday Night Wars figures, but just having those there was nice to see. And then we did pick up the Knuckle Crunchers. Now, one thing about it is I saw these previously on a toy hunt before, just kind of popping in there. You know, you go get groceries. I don't film those when I go on a specific toy hunt. Now, if I do see something on the aisle, I may grab it. But in this case, finding the Seth freaking Rollins, they even have it dubbed Seth freaking Rollins on the packaging. Seeing this, I've only seen this once, and then finally finding a fresh case today, I figured this was the time because I had passed on the Seth Rollins the first time, and then going back, they had the rest of the wave, but I didn't want to buy the rest of the wave if I couldn't find Seth. And so finding Seth, it was time to cash in. Now, these rang up at $7.98, I think, after taxes and everything. So these are $7.98 about. We'll find out if they're worth it. I may review these all in one sitting, and we'll kind of do like a Series 1 review. We'll do Roman and everything. And I actually have this on the way, the Rebound Ring with Brock Lesnar. It was like 20 bucks on Amazon, like marked half off. So we're definitely going to take that. We have Knuckle Crunchers Rock, Seth Rollins. We also have a look at Roman Reigns. Now, a big thing about these is they don't have their tattoos on there, which I think is a huge miss, especially on guys like Roman Reigns or The Rock. But, you know, Roman Reigns only has the sleeve there. I may customize it, you know, I don't know. But The Rock not having the Brahma Bull is just a crime against humanity. That shish is terrible. You can't do that, man. Cannot do that. And I think even Brock Lesnar only has his chest tattoo, of all things. But we do have John Cena, the GOAT, to round out 
our set and they come with these really cool accessories now the rebound ring is on the way so i'll have a i'll have five figures with a bunch of weapon accessories and the ring so once that arrives i mean we we have a whole fed there i mean i got five main event guys right there but here they are up next to this john morant figure yeah we do have roman we have john cena we have the rock and seth Rollins. i just want to stand them up here so you guys can get kind of a size comparison so that john morant figure is probably six inches or so i can't where the hell let me just grab a random i'll just grab hell's gate cedric alexander right here for comparison so there you go you got th this is kind of the size difference now they're probably a couple inches tall two and a half inches tall something like that but that, i think that's okay i think these are pretty cool figures hopefully they will be worth the pickup we will see when we get into the review and that'll probably come sometime this week now we definitely have to review these two guys as well but uh yeah the, let me know what what first roddy piper or bret hart i think a lot of people i feel like more people are excited for the roddy piper over the bret hart but i could be wrong that could be a you know a measurement that i'm getting wrong but nonetheless man that is everything that we grabbed here today i think it's a pretty successful hunt the only thing i need to do now to right the wrongs is get this damn my via legacy pack I need to take this back to the store and find one or get one of those three that are on the shelves with the robe from Rocky Johnson here and take this one back. I don't need this in the collection, man. I, I don't want to review this without the robe. I think that would be a disservice to you guys. So I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But lots of stuff picked up here today. I don't know what the hell LeBron's doing over there. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap the video, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think of the grabs here today. Do you think it was a successful hunt? What did you see that you liked? That random-ass Penta was very crazy. That Supreme Edition Penta blew me out of the water. I did not expect to see that. But anyways, man, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you would have grabbed down in the comment section below. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all those fellas over there for all their continued support. That is going to wrap the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name, Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.